Family of God, it's Getty Diesel here. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I just wanted to make this video and share about some of the things I've learned about turning 30 years old. The first thing I've learned is that God is faithful. God has been faithful to me to allow me to make it to 30 years old. He's been with me in this journey. He's, he's given me salvation. He's made a way. He's created a path through my, my the years of my life since I've known Jesus Christ at the age of 17. I've been following Jesus Christ for about 12, 13 years. And through that time, I've learned so much. I've seen the faithfulness of God. I've, I've seen God do miracles in my life. I've experienced breakthroughs. I've just seen some really miraculous things. And I can honestly say that God has been faithful to me to get me to this point of 30 years old. Um, you know, there were times where I didn't think I would make it this far. There were times when I didn't see a way out. I, I didn't know if I would even get here. But God has been faithful. That is an important thing. And that is one of the things that I have learned while turning 30 years old. Um, the second thing that I've learned while turning 30 years old is how important family and friends and loved ones, all my brothers and sisters in Christ who are so dear to my heart, who are so important to my life, how, how um, important it is to, to, to treat them well, to not take them for granted, to appreciate the ones that God has placed in my life. That is something that I've learned while turning 30, how, how, how much to cherish the people that God has placed in my life and the ones that I have by my side who care about me, who love me, who support me, and how, how really, truly important these wonderful people are in my life. That is another thing that I have learned um, while turning 30 years old, to, to really not take these wonderful souls for granted, but to appreciate the loved ones that are in my life. So I thank you for being in my life and for loving me and that I can love you back. Um, another thing that I have learned uh, about turning, while turning 30 years old is um, not to ever give up, never give up. We hear that a lot. We, we hear this motivation. We hear this encouragement to, to never give up. And it's, it starts to almost sound cliche. It starts to almost think like, it, it almost starts to seem superficial, like, oh, you're just saying that, you're just in, encouraging me not to give up um, so so I don't stay down. You you just, you don't really care about me. You're just, you're just having something positive to say to me, to, to help me to get through. But no, there's, there's real importance and there's real strength in that, in that phrase of saying, never give up. I have learned while turning 30 to never give up. I mean, really there, there have been such hard and difficult and challenging times. I, I, I compared it um, I compared it in, in a writing that I made saying that um, these 30 years of my life, the kind of things that I've gone through, the days that I've gone through, it, it was like it was like um, going through levels in a video game where you're where you're passing through these obstacles and you're in your um, tri triumphing over the different challenges and you're going through these hard phases and seasons of your life and it feels like these these levels these hard levels in video games where where um you know you you do you have these obstacles and you're and you're navigating through and you're traversing through um the different parts of your life that almost feel like levels in a video game and you're facing giants you're facing these big bosses at the end of the level and, and to get to the next level you have to defeat these giants and you have to defeat these big bosses and God has been faithful in allowing me to to travail and, and, and press through 
and 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 traverse through um, the different challenges and the and the fiery trials and the tribulations. And God has been by my side to help me to get through the levels. Because when I hear "never give up," I think about all those hard times, all all those times that I did want to give up because it seemed so hard. It seemed like I would never make it through. It seemed like it was the end of my story. It seemed like I was done for. It seemed like I was too far gone. It seemed like I was at the end of my rope and there was no way out and God made a way. So when I hear that to never give up, I know that I don't have to give up because God will make a way. And a lot of times it makes me emotional just to think about what God has gotten me through. And I thank him for allowing me to never give up. So that is another thing that I've learned while turning 30 years old. Another thing that I've learned while turning 30 years old is to be grateful. To be grateful for where I'm at, what God has me doing, what I'm involved with, the things that I have accomplished, the things that he has set my hand to, to be grateful in and through it all. I have learned while turning 30 to be grateful for what God has given me and where I'm at in life, to be grateful for the blessings and even the challenges that are here to make me stronger as a person and to be grateful for the people in my life and the things that I'm able to do to help others, to be grateful for all the wonderful blessings. I can make a whole e e eternal list almost of all the things that I'm grateful for, to have a place to live, to have clothes to wear, to have food to eat, to have eyes to see, to have a body to move in, to have friends and family, to have brothers and sisters in Christ, being grateful for the church, being grateful for Bible studies, being grateful for support groups, being grateful for encouragement, just being grateful for all the wonderful experiences and all the blessed memories and all of it, all of it, he shall work out to good. I am grateful for God's word that lays out these promises and encouragement and truth for my life. So another thing that I've learned while turning 30 is to be grateful. One last thing that I've learned while turning 30 is to appreciate where I'm at in life. That God still has something for me, that God can still use me. That is the last thing that I'm going to mention. What I've learned while turning 30 is that God can still use me where I'm at. He has me at this specific age, at this specific time, to reach certain people, in, whether it's in my age group or whether it's people that are younger than me or even people that are older than me. There's something in my story. There's something in my experiences. There's something that I've learned or that I have within that I can share with others to just be a sharpening iron, to sharpen others. There's something that I can share. There's, there's something that God can use me for. He's not done with me. There's still more to my story. There's still something that God can use with my life. So that's something that I've learned while turning 30, that God can use me where I'm at. He can use me at this specific time, at this specific age, in this specific season. And he will do something with me. He will fulfill the work that he started in me. And he will use me to help others. That is my deepest belief. That is my faith that God is going to use me where I'm at. The age that I'm at. He's brought me to 30 years old. So to appreciate where I'm at in life and to use that for the glory of God. So that is where my heart is at. That is where my soul lies. That God will use me where I'm at. And those are just some of the things that I've learned 
while turning 30 years old. I had it on my heart. I had it on my mind to make this video just to share with you some of the things that I've learned about turning 30 years old. While turning 30 years old, this is what I've learned. And I pray that this video blesses you. I pray that this video encourages you. I pray that you can pull something from this video to just to learn from or to be encouraged by or that it would bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I truly love you. I thank you for being a support to me. I thank you for loving me and caring about me. I thank you for walking with me on this journey. And I thank God for my life. And I thank God that I'm alive to bring glory to him. In the name of Jesus, I say God bless you. And may you have a wonderful day.